Hey everyone, I'm Rob Franick. I'm editor-in-chief here at the Prince Review. Now friends, we have talked about test anxiety before, and let's just say it out loud, it is perfectly normal to feel a bit nervous before a big exam. Some students can manage their nervousness, others may experience it more intensely, making it difficult to perform their best on a test. Test anxiety can affect students of all ages, from elementary school students to PhD candidates. It can manifest itself in a wide range of physical symptoms, from tightness in your chest to sweaty palms to stomach ache. If this is something that you experience, please know that with mathematical certainty, my friends, you're not alone. According to the American Test Anxiety Association, about 18% of all students deal with some moderately high test anxiety, while another 16 to 20% of students have high or severe test anxiety. And now, with many tests being administered online and even remotely, the anxiety that you may feel about an unusual testing environment can compound your anxiety about testing itself. So today, friends, we are going to talk about five strategies together to help you conquer some of that anxiety that you might be feeling during this very unusual school year. Tip number one, don't cram. I can hear my mother whispering these words into my ear long ago, but the value of the lesson is as clear now as it ever was. Instead of cramming, develop good study habits. Pulling an all-nighter, my friends, and cramming right before a test is one of the worst things that you can do. Cramming will not make up for a lack of preparation, which, by the way, is the major cause of test anxiety. Instead of cramming, pre prepare for tests by staying on top of your schoolwork daily. That means paying attention in class and taking notes and asking good questions. Students who study regularly and have a daily routine will experience far less anxiety than those students who decide to study the day of or even hours before a big test. This is especially true if you're studying for a difficult subject. It's crucial that you prepare for tough tests well in advance and give yourself enough time to seek help from your teachers and your tutors and your study group so that you can get the support that you need to do well on the test. The more prepared you are, the less likely you are to experience anxiety on the test day itself. Preparation is the antidote to anxiety, my friends, which leads me to tip number two, and this is going to sound a little counterintuitive, but make sure that you're as rested as possible. It stands to reason that when you have a lot to do, you also need a lot of rest to accomplish all those tasks. On average, teenagers in general need eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. Now, one poor night of sleep is not going to have a huge impact on you, but many successive nights of too little sleep can affect your ability to concentrate and to deal with stress. And if you can get some exercise on a regular basis as well, and that can also help you manage your stress as well as your sleep schedule. Tip number three, create a test day routine and leave yourself enough time to get set up. Even if your test is online and at home, we suggest arriving early just to make sure that you have Time to get settled at your in-house testing space. Connect to the internet, log into a testing platform, and once you're all set up, take a few minutes to settle your nerves. Practice some breathing exercises, closing your eyes, taking a few deep breaths in and out. The goal is to refocus your energy on your breathing and not the source of your stress. And once you're focused, it's time to execute, execute pardon me, your test-taking plan. Read and listen to the directions carefully. Take time to read each question thoroughly so that you can manage your time and monitor your pace. Answer the easy questions first, saving the harder ones for later. And if you have time at the end, recheck all of your answers. Remember that you're in the driver's seat. You control how you answer questions and manage your time. Your anxiety, your anxiety pardon me, will diminish when you approach the test with a plan and a feeling of control. Tip number four, think positive thoughts and avoid negative self-talk. You are not defined by any singular pesky test. Your test performance is not a reflection of your self-worth and it's not a predictor of your ability to succeed in life and be prosperous overall. Now, we certainly encourage you to take every test that's in your orbit seriously um, but it's equally important to manage your thoughts and not put too much stock in any one test too often. Students increase their anxiety by engaging in negative 
self-talk, saying things like, there's no way I'm going to ever pass this test. It only gets you into a bad feedback loop and it weakens your self-confidence. Friends, you don't need to do it. You're awesome. You have weathered the most unpredictable academic and otherwise year ever, and you've done it with resilience and grace. I believe this right down to my twinkle toes. You're awesome, and you're the ones to watch. In short, my friends, engage in positive self-talk and build your confidence. Tell yourself things like, all I can do is my best, and remind yourself that you've studied hard and you're prepared to pass this test. Positive statements like those will create a glorious feedback loop and it'll help you perform your best. Remember, it's you versus you. Do not play the comparison game with your classmates. You are your only competition. The most important thing is to prepare to the best of your abilities and give it your all. Folks, this is my fifth and my final point, but it is certainly um, not the least on the list. Ask for support if you need it. While many of the strategies that we just mentioned will help most students better manage your test anxiety, for those dealing with more severe cases of anxiety, we encourage you to reach out to your teachers and your counselors, and of course, an adult who you trust for direct support. Advocate for yourself, and please do not hesitate to ask for help. We, our full team here, are cheering you on every step of the way. Folks, please do remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on exams and admissions and study tips and much, much more. Again, Rob Frantic signing off for today. I'll be back with you real soon.